Hi everyone, this is Monica Valentine and this is Entertaining LA. From what I heard this morning, it's been a sad, sad day here in the real world. I just found out on the social media page that author, producer, actress, Maya Angel has passed away at the age of 86. Maya Angel was a big inspiration for a lot of us, especially me. I remember reading her book, the first book that she came out in 1969, I Know Why the Cage Birds Sing. Now, I read it twice. The first time I read it, it was around 8th grade, around the mid-90s, late 90s, in the 8th grade. And the second time I read it was around sophomore year. That book really did blew me away. It made me realize who she was as a person, the struggles that she faced during the late... That book really blew me away. It shows about the struggles that she faced when she was a little kid. I believe she was about like eight, nine years old that she went through the hard struggles. That was that book is based on the true story of her life and how she grew to be who she was before she passed away. She was a fighter. She was an inspiration for all of us, especially for African American people and women like myself. I really am going to miss her. I really am going to miss her. I, will, I wish that I had an opportunity to meet her. As I heard some people have met her at graduations and ceremonies, but I want to really miss her, even though I never met her. Maya Angel was known as Marguerite Johnson. She was born in St. Louis, Missouri on April 4th, 1928. Maya Angelou has written a number of other books, including Gather Together in My Name, Singing and Swinging and Getting Married Like Christmas, The Heart of a Woman, All God's Children Need Traveling Shoes, a song flung up into heaven. Now that book was now that book was the last book that she has published. If rumor has it that she has written another book around 2013, but that one hasn't been updated yet. So hopefully that might be published soon. During the 60s through the 70s, she has developed a love of books as well as becoming a writer. She has grouped up and meted with a number of African American authors. She later became an activist. She has became friends with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. as well as Malcolm X. She has supported them before their assassination. And she had taken a drip once those two had passed away. Maya Angelou has later has been incredibly acclaimed through her biography and the many books that she has published. She later became a producer and a screenwriter for certain movies that she has produced. She also later became a part of an American icon when she has did speeches for presidents. She became the first African American poet to speak in John F. Kennedy's run for office in his inauguration. Maya Angelou will really be missed. She has went through a whole lot. She has fought. She has inspired not just me but millions of people around the world not just here in America, but around the world. She will truly be missed. I want to take this last few minutes in silence in her name. I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you all next time.